Hi, today we're going to be measuring the power usage of the Amazon Kindle Fire TV stick. Now if you're a regular subscriber let me start by saying I'm sorry, I'm a little bit behind on my videos. Um, I do have a lot lined up ready to come, especially the solar ones and of course I have to get them out quickly because we're already starting to get into the rainy season, you know it's already started raining so sorry but they are coming. So what is the Fire TV stick? I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because this isn't about the TV stick, it's more about the power usage. But basically it's a small HDMI stick, uh, it's actually an Android based device but with some Amazon stuff added on top. You plug it into your TV, power it via USB, it comes with a power adapter but a lot of TVs can actually run it directly using the USB cable. Um, so you plug it into your TV and it turns your dumb TV into a smart TV. You can stream things from Amazon, you can stream things from YouTube, you can play all the normal Android games and apps, um, even XBMC or Kodi, so you know it's a useful device. So how are we actually going to measure the power usage? Well it runs off a regular USB, uh, micro USB cable, which means we can use our Porter Pal USB meter, which I've shown previously in my videos, and we can also use this AC watt meter to measure how much power the um, AC USB adapter is actually consuming. So we're going to measure it in two ways. So I'll pause the video, bring the camera closer, and we can take a look at exactly how much power this thing consumes. Now just quickly before we actually start measuring the power usage, I want to take a closer look at this um, power plug that they give you, USB, AC to USB adapter. Now it is branded Amazon, and if you read the rating, it's rated up to 1.8 amp, which is pretty high. Now this has the standard UK plug on it. You can see that you have three pins. Um, this one is meant to be ground, but it's just plastic here, and these two are shielded. Now what does that mean? Well. When you try and unplug this from the wall, sometimes people might wrap their fingers around and to protect you from getting shocked, they are covered in a plastic or something like that. Now that's standard for UK plugs, but just a nice little touch that I wanted to show you because you won't find that on uh, two pin plugs that are generally used in the Philippines. Now this can actually take different style adapters. So you can see this one is a UK style plug. They also have uh, rounded pins and perhaps some others. Now this type of thing where you can swap the adapter out is pretty common um, but a lot of the time what they use is like springy contacts and they pretty much break instantly whereas this one is using these solid metal tabs so I really like that. Now here comes the kind of geeky bit. If you put this on here and you lock it in place the ground pin is at the top, USB port, sorry the lighting isn't great but the USB port is at the bottom, yeah? But if you turn it, now the ground pin is at the top, USB port is here, you see? So depending on how you turn this, you can actually get it in many different, or pretty much every direction. So you can have it so that the um, ground pin's on the top and this is on the top. I know it's like, who cares, but it's kind of cool. Like when I first plugged it in, I had the USB port at the bottom and I was using a plug that went in like that. And I was thinking, oh, that's really annoying. I wish it came out at the side or the top. And then I just went like this, turned it, and you know, I realized that you can actually have it in any direction. So, okay, kind of geeky or OCD or stupid, but I like it. It's a cool little feature that they've, you know, that they've added to this. They've obviously, it's the little things that a lot of people don't notice. So anyway, let's measure the power usage. So let's start with the Amazon USB adapter plugged straight into my wattmeter. Here's the USB port, nothing plugged into it. Now, a lot of people will be powering their Fire TV stick directly from the TV um, because most TVs have USB ports. And although the Fire TV stick does sometimes throw up a warning about low power, it seems to operate just fine. So a lot of people might be reusing this for their cell phones or tablets because it's a high quality USB adapter. You know, it's made by Amazon to a high standard. You know, Amazon are known for their electronics for being very high standards. They make sure that they meet all the safety requirements. So if you don't use this for your Fire TV stick, you can use it for other devices and know that it's a good quality product. So one of the big questions when you have these kind of adapters is, is it gonna consume power while it's plugged into the wall and it's not charging anything? So you can see it's plugged into my watt meter and it's not measuring any consumption. Now I know what you're thinking, maybe this watt meter isn't um, sensitive enough to pick up 
the low power it's using. Well, here I have a quarter power USB meter. If I plug this in, you'll see that this starts consuming power and the watt meter actually recognizes that. So with the LED um, on this one turned on, it was consuming around uh, 0. What was it, 0.6? And you can see with no LED, just the LCD, it's still measuring the 0.1 watt. It's actually probably a little bit less, but this uh, watt meter is rounding it up. So yes, this is sensitive enough to know whether this is consuming power. And with nothing plugged into it, it doesn't consume any power. So that's very good off the bat. Okay, so now we have our AC watt meter, which will measure the Amazon USB uh, power adapter and any attached load and then we have our quarter power watt meter which will measure only the power consumed by the fire tv stick so let's plug it in and measure how much power it uses you can see that during boot it's currently consuming 1.6 watts now bear in mind that this is measuring the consumption of the ac adapter which will have a little bit of loss and the attached fire TV stick. So you can see that the quarter power is measuring around 1.8 watts while this one is measuring a higher amount. Now this quarter power updates at a much higher frequency so you can see the, um, the wattage is jumping all over the place but it doesn't really pass 2.5 watts. It's nearly always under 2.5 watts. And with the AC one, we're only measuring, you know, a max of around 3.5. So the power consumption is extremely small. You can see that on the quarter power, we never even consume as much as one amp. And it's very rare that you see a power adapter nowadays that produces less than one amp. So let's try and stream a video from YouTube and see if that makes any difference. Maybe having the uh, wireless radio will increase the power consumption. Seven, oops, did I select 720 or 360? We'll see. It's a shame there's no way to keep this port power backlight turned on. I've muted the TV, by the way. Okay, so we can see that all in all, we're consuming around 3.5 watts, no more than that. And the Fire TV stick itself is consuming I think I saw it blip to 2.8 for a split second. So it's always pretty low. Um, most TVs can output either half an amp or an amp. So that's why some TVs have a warning when you attach the Fire TV stick directly to the TV instead of using the official adapter. Okay, let's try and put the Fire TV stick to sleep and see what happens. Let's try again. Now you can see it's still consuming, you know, around one and a half plus watts. And here on the adapter side, we're, we're consuming around two and a half watts. So putting it to sleep doesn't actually seem to make much difference, to be honest. I don't know if maybe if you left it for a while, it would go into a deeper sleep. I'll pause the video and uh, leave it a couple of minutes and we'll check. I tried turning off the TV thinking that maybe it knows it's still connected and that's why it's not going into a deep sleep but it doesn't seem to make any difference so it's always consuming at least um, around a watt and a half and then if you take into account the losses of the AC adapter you're looking at around two watts so it's still not a huge amount of power but I expected that when it went to sleep it would be a deep sleep and it would consume practically nothing but that is not the case. So thanks for watching. I know it won't be of interest to everyone, but there are a lot of questions out there right now about the um, Fire TV stick and how much power it consumes and how much power it needs. Um, I'm sure that during this video, I might call it the Kindle Fire TV stick or the Kindle Fire a bunch of times. It's pretty much the same as a Kindle phone or a Kindle tablet. You know, the Kindle Fire, it's, it's all so confusing. So, I've probably called it about a thousand different names in this video, but you know what it is, it's the Amazon Fire TV stick. So there you go, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed please give a thumbs up and stay tuned for my other videos which I assure you are coming.